hello 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 my dear friends and welcome back to the channel once again if it's your first time here my name is gigo and today we are back at madame fatima's project where we begin with the concrete casting of the foundation trenches but before that we have to set our foundation column and also the base and make sure that everything is in line before we do the casting because if we don't get everything straight this might affect you know the whole block work the structure work that means that we have to do some cranking which won't be nice you know it will, it will make the work difficult for the masons and also the house won't be that straight else we have to do cranking which is not also a nice thing to do in construction this is where the weight you know comes this is what carries the whole structure so we have to be you know careful here because if something goes wrong here that means that everything that comes on top is going to be faulty and then we have to do adjustment adjustment at the end the house won't have its strength so we have to be careful with the alignment here so in today's today's video we will be looking at the cost breakdown also like i said every step i'll be coming up with a cost breakdown how much we are spending each day on each face just to give you an idea how much it will cost you or if you're in a process already you know how much so you can just compare the prices so if you want to see more or this is the first time you are you know seeing this uh, particular project if you go to my playlist i have a video you know previous video of how we started with clearing the land and everything in there so you can follow the process so back to today's video so with the labor we have about 15 labors here and then i think we have uh, brother sami who is the engineer my contractor and also mr Quete, the supplier so i think making a total of 17 people on the ground everything was done in a day so that was good because this is how you're gonna cut down cost whilst you are building not you know prolonging the work doing double you know things double because yeah if uh, we didn't finish with it today that means the next day we have to rent the machine again and we have to get another labor maybe we have to reduce the labor but you know this is the case where Google production group you know we have a setup where we know how to manage projects that's how we are able to cut down cost you know having uh, the engineer on site you know the supplier there if, if something is getting short we make sure that he brings it immediately you know the direction of the laborers how they have to work so that everything goes fast most at times some contractors will not be there you know he will just come give them instruction and then he's gone he's going to the next project because this is how they make money you know the number of sites you visit a day you charge and then you make your money but this is the case where you know my engineer is on site making sure that things are done at the right way with the supplier so that nothing goes short so this is the trick some of these labors right if they are if uh, you are using them for this kind of work like the concrete casting especially those that rent the machine they know that the material or the cement is not enough but they won't tell you you know they will wait getting to later in the evening that is when they will tell you oh boss the cement is getting finished or this before they will let you know even you don't have water they will not tell you you know so because they want to come the next day so that they can charge more they want you to keep renting the machine and if you rent the machine you have to use their men to work so this is one tip i think you have to pay attention and if you have a foreman he needs to keep his eye on the materials as the guys are working good morning good evening wherever you are you are once welcome to the channel Gigo production and you are welcome to madame fatima's project the concrete casting the concrete casting we first set our reinforcement bars it has to be aligned 
before everything start if not you won't have what you want you may be cranking your rod wherever it may lose its strength so everything must be well peeled back it before it takes off yeah this is a well fertile ground where even in some i think three weeks ago to a month here it's been graded but you can see the feta land growing some weeds over it so sometimes this is what makes project abandoned project very expensive because you hire people to come and weed before you come sometimes to the board you are using some is gone meanwhile it can do some job on site but everything will be gone so that is some tips that at least when working it has to be stage by stage when the first stage goes you pack your things you leave at least coming to the next stage you, you gather yourself and come but when it is not well structured well planned you go for some time before come by the time you come breaking without notice you come everything is gone you are coming to start afresh buy new materials and start so that is a little tip about foundation moving because the foundation inside is solid no weed is there but after we'll be taking all the vegetable weeds out before any filling or anything because when it rot it creates spaces within the mist and also pauses so that's what is on this is monday concrete casting is ongoing we have some blocks here you know even the stone to the casting of the oversight is here so things are being started in a way that there may be no shortage this and then on we go there is a break in construction because you can't have everything at a time but at least with management you will know what to do at every stage so with that we can go on little by little moving There is good production. We have everyone on site, board here, even with our supply and everybody. So it's a whole production team. Wherever you don't need a steel bender, you don't need a mason separately, you don't need a carpenter. No, when it is within the production, we do everything. So I may call it one stop shop where you can get your everything. You don't have to be going through people stressing, organizing things to site. No, 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 no. It's just one stop shop where you get your everything. Even if you can supply, you can, we don't have problem. Even if you have a building and you only need supervision we don't have problem so anyway anyway we are just helping people to build their dream house and have a quality job that can last for years that's all we do so, thank you very much This 
So that was uh, Engineer Sami for you directing, you know, the labors how to pour the concrete so that, you know, it will move fast and how they have to, you know, align everything, checking. Like I always say, we check, we cross check, and then we double check, you know. And if you see the concrete for yourself, you know how much concrete we've poured into these trenches you know like if you saw the earlier video where you know it was only just the columns and then the base and looking at the level of the concrete now in the in the trenches that should tell you how much we've poured how much concrete has gone into these trenches and these are some of the things that you have to pay attention to if you are watching our videos you know these are the things you have to pay attention to because most people when they are pouring their con concrete they don't pour much you know they pour later and then they will be adding so many things to prevent uh, damp proofness and use the cement use the concrete pour the, the stone the sand the cement use the materials and that will prevent you know most of this dampness you know out out there you can use all the chemicals trust me if you don't use the cement and you don't use the, st the right ratio you will still have these is issues you know you can see the color of the concrete yourself you know if you compare most of you know the videos out there check the color of the concrete they don't put much cement in there you can see the color of the cement in the mixture right there you can see it for yourself like normally we we even have to use uh query dust but we didn't because like this is the foundation itself so we need the stone when it comes to the decking and uh, also the the overflow concrete casting yeah then we can go with the you know the query dust but here we this is the base so you can see the stones in there and later on you will see the color you know when it starts drying you will see the color of the cement you know this this is the first step you know to prevent damp proofness not using you know charge people and then you are using less cement and you are not pouring much concrete into the trenches you know you have to pour you know the house has to sit on the concrete not in the not on the ground itself you know some people i mean if you look at the videos out there you will see it yourself you will see how many concrete how they pour into the trenches you can see this is almost getting full you know so these are the things that you have to pay attention watching our videos don't just listen to what we are saying and uh watch what we are watch what we are saying as, as well if i tell you i did this you have to see it and you can see it for yourself you can see the color of a cement you can see the gray you know you can go back and watch other videos and you will see the color it's brownish you know and yeah they don't put in cement they don't put so these are please you know pay attention to details don't just listen to what we are saying make sure that whatever we we are saying that's what we are doing so this is the view from the neighbor and you know all of this was done in a day normally what people would do is they will set the columns you know the iron rods they will use one day to set it you know and then they will come back the next day to do the concrete casting so they will set the pillars and cast only the pillars and then they will go home the next day they will come and then they will do the cobalt we did everything in one day and we were even done before six o'clock you know in the evening and this is how you save cost in construction you know you save cost on labor not with the materials you know you have to save costs by not doing things twice, not doubling, you know, 
things so let's get straight into the cost breakdown since you've seen what we've done for the day so the total cost you know for the materials which is the stones the sand and the cement is 22,100 Ghana cities and the total cost for the labor is 4,000 Ghana cities so making a subtotal of 26,100 Ghana cities which if you convert into the US dollars is 1,831 us dollars this is how much we have spent on the foundation you know concrete casting and as you can see we still have stones we still have you know sand you know these are the first thing that we bought the materials these are the first thing we bought and we think this is going to take us through with the concrete casting the oversight concrete casting as well so step by step we are making progress and this is how far the lord has brought us you know this is just the beginning there will be more action you know coming up you know when the structure starts coming up you will see and you appreciate the work being done here so this is it for today's video let me know your thoughts in the comment section if you have something you want to add any advice is always welcome we are not perfect you know i'm just trying to share my experience what i have noticed working with, with these guys and uh, so that people can also learn something you know so watch out for the next episode which is going to be the episode eight uh, we're going to start with the block work you know the foundation block work and then gradually the structure will take shape and the structure will come up maybe when we are able to go far with the next episode we will just go through the house so that i, sh I show you where the rooms and you know the various space of the house is so don't forget to follow this journey in my playlist called the madame fatima's project okay so that's it we'll see how best we go back okay so I think today, thank you very much. We are we are done with the the concrete. Tomorrow probably we'll be setting the blocks. We'll be ready for the setting of the blocks. So today I think UTV UTV you send our report that we are done with Fatim, Madame Fatima's uh, concrete work. We'll be starting the block work tomorrow. God willing. There is some blocks here. Tomorrow we'll be providing, we we'll bring blocks and cement as well so that you can uh, faster everything within the week. Then the footing may be, probably will be done within the week. we we'll left with the feeling. So that was Mr. Quete's supplier and uh, my camera lady. You know, she has been helping me, you know, to get some good, you know, footage for you guys. Sometimes when I ask the guys to give me videos, they are so busy they f they totally forget to make the videos or they are in a hurry to show me what they they are doing so i don't get a good quality but she is helping us out now and you can see it's not even night yet it's i think this is roughly around five o'clock or four o'clock in ghana but the guys are done this is how you save money the guys are also happy they can go home rest and come back the next day with a lot of energy they don't have to stay till late and we've saved roughly 4,000 on labor work because everything was done in one day. Like I said, normally they would do the foundation, you know, the pillars, the footings and the column. One day they will cast and then mount it. And then the next day they will come and do the casting. But we've done all in one day. This is how you save money, you know, building your house. Not by reducing materials and, you know, trying to cut corners and stuff. That's not how it is done. So I think this brings us to the end of today's episode. I really do appreciate your time spent here on the channel. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, share, you know, to motivate someone not to give up, you know, in building a house. It is possible. You can also do it yourself if you follow these guidelines step by step and you have a good format. Thanks for staying and I will see you in my next episode. Let's do it. Keep going.